everybody welcome back to the channel as always my name is Caleb and today we are in the beautiful Dominican Republic we uh, ported here our ship docked at La Romana this morning at about 9 a.m. and we traveled in uh, inland about an hour in so right now we're actually gonna go uh, experience some of the island and uh, check out what the Dominican Republic has to offer um, some of my first impressions actually if you saw uh, yesterday's video which was on Grand Turks we visited that island uh, the Dominican Republic is huge compared to Grand Turks Grand Turks is a very small island compared to uh, the Dominican Republic this country is actually, uh, it's one big island cut in half. So one half is the Dominican Republic, the other half is uh, uh, Haiti. That's what it is. So uh, this place is much larger and uh, has a lot more infrastructure and it's more modern than Grand Turks. It's, if, uh, to compare to some things, if you didn't tell me where we were, it seems just like more of a wide open Florida to kind of give some, uh, little bit of a reference there. We are actually in Scape Park right now. So what this is, is kind of like a hub for different attractions and like adventure style things. I guess this is like, you know, the lo a good location for all of that stuff. And it's also, um, uh, it's also beautiful here. There's tons of trees and uh, uh, different animals and everything like that, that you would want to see on the island. So what we're actually going to now is this, uh, we're going to this Hoyo Azul. Sorry if I butchered that, but what this basically is, is um, some beautiful landscape, uh, ginormous, like a hole in this, uh, I guess, rock structure or something like that. Supposedly, it's very, very beautiful, and we're going to check that out today. So we are back in the room now. We had an amazing time. It was absolutely very, very beautiful in the Dominican Republic. You know, we got to see uh, lots of different like nature and uh, you know cool stuff like that, I guess. But um, tonight's actually very special because tonight is New Year's Eve. So we're going to be celebrating not just any New Year. It's going to be New Year's in the middle of the ocean. We will have left the Dominican Republic by then. We're going to be celebrating the coming of the New Year with the entire Carnival cruise ship. And I want to take you guys along with me. So that's what's going to be happening now. We're going to get ready and uh, go to this uh, event. But before, I, uh, I wanted to say that so we didn't uh, stop on the island to get anything to eat or any, any food or water or anything like that. We, uh, we came back to the ship for this because uh, the reason why is because there's actually been a problem lately. A lot of tourists have been uh, mysteriously dying after visiting the Dominican Republic and eating in the food supply. They'd eat like a meal and then go back to their room and then a couple hours later they would pass away. So and nobody knows why. So there's some sort of a, a virus or issue with the food somehow. 
some way. I don't know a whole lot about this uh, situation and I don't know the details by any means, so take that into account. But um, just for safety reasons, we decided not to eat anything on the island, just to kind of stay safe and stay clear of whatever problems that may, ha may be happening right now. But uh, we're gonna get ready to go to dinner and then after that, it is time to celebrate the new year. So it is about an hour until midnight right now, and uh, thinking about this new year, it actually reminds me, uh, fun fact, so my very first video I posted on YouTube, I posted it about last March, and it was actually uh, this a very similar scenario. It was New Year's Eve. I was uh, very fortunate enough to go to Times Square with some of my great friends for New Year's Eve and see, uh, you know, the famous uh, New York City ball drop. And uh, that was a wonderful thing. I've always wanted to do that. And I got to experience that last year coming into 2019. So kind of a little coincidence. That was my first video. It was absolutely a terrible video. I didn't even, uh, I recorded it vertically. It wasn't even horizontal. And uh, I just didn't know what to do for YouTube. So I just kind of threw it up there. I didn't know what I was doing and I still don't. But spending last year on Times Square and uh, spending this year in, uh, on New Year's Eve in the middle of the ocean, I don't know where next year is gonna take us. I feel like we have to top everything now. And uh, those were both some uh, two pretty amazing uh, experiences I got to take. So I'm very grateful for that. But looking back, this is kind of a, uh, it's a very unique, New Year's Eve because this decade, this last decade, when we came into 2010, I was 10 years old. So I was I was very young and I mean, I'm 20 now. So, so much has happened. I, you know, graduated high school. I'm in college now. I was in, uh, like, I, mean, I mean, I wasn't even in middle school yet at that time. Like I've gone through so many changes and so many things have happened in my life in this decade. So that's why it's kind of a memorable one. And uh, it's almost scary looking forward. So much has happened in this last decade that uh, looking forward into 2020 and the years past that, I mean, the next decade's not gonna start till 2030, which is crazy to think about. Like so much has happened. And there's going to be so much more that will happen in this next decade. I mean, I'm gonna grow up even older. I'm gonna be 30 next decade. Like what? It's just, it's crazy. I'm optimistic about the new year. All right, enough of this. Let's go to the party. So there you have it, 2020 is finally here. It's been a very, very long and event-filled decade and so, so much has happened. Looking forward to the new decade and the new year, there's so much I wanna do, so much I wanna accomplish and um, you know, as I spend these next couple of days reflecting and uh, thinking about what the new year is gonna be like, I uh, kinda wanted to share some of my goals with you guys. Um, one of them is to, uh, have a more cons have more consistency with myself. So um, you know, consistently uploading video is better. Consistently doing things on a uh, more timely manner and having a uh, better schedule for my life. Uh, that's kind of how I operate. I really thrive on uh, structure of a schedule, something that I can continue to like go after every day at this at the same time, same kind of like a planned out area. So this is one of the things I want to do. Another thing I shared it in a video or a couple videos back was that I want to bring this channel to a thousand subscribers. That's my first goal for this channel is going to be a thousand subscribers. I shared it in my uh, 100 subscriber like little celebration video and I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of you that have stuck with me in the last year of doing these uh, vlogs and videos. I really, really appreciate you sticking around. And I really encourage you guys to, uh, if you're not subscribed, to hit subscribe. Let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers. 
I know this channel has potential. I know I have potential in this channel. There's so many great, crazy, and amazing videos I wanna make for everybody, and I'm trying to improve, and every single video, I want it to be better than the last. And that's the first step that, uh, or the first goal that I want to accomplish here is a thousand subscribers. So please guys, if you're watching, please hit that subscribe button. You would, it would mean the absolute world to me. What are your goals for the next year? What do you want to bring to 2020? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? I really hope you guys accomplish all of your goals. I know I hope I accomplish mine as well. Let's get through this together and let's bring a happy new year to all of our loved ones and friends. As always, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, happy new year, and I hope to see you in the next one.